I have a couple new products that I ordered from Octly. And really quick, if you are unaware, Octly is just a website where if you are a YouTube creator, you can go on and request certain products for free. And in exchange, all you have to do is do a review on those items, and that's through YouTube videos for the review. So anyways, I have five items here, technically six because they did send a an additional product because one of the items was shipped out kind of late. Let me start off with the hair item and then I'll move on to the makeup and then the skincare. So this first item here, this is from Kenra and this is their oil absorbing volumizing dry shampoo and I have not tried any products from Kenra. I've seen a few Kenra items at Ulta, but I've never purchased them because they were like, they're around $20 per product. So I was kind of excited to see this and I wanted to just dabble in it because I know it's accessible at my local Ulta. The stuff smells amazing. It's got this really nice, fresh, kind of slightly sweet scent to it. it smells so good. And I've reviewed, um, I think it was the, what was that other dry shampoo I reviewed? I've reviewed another dry shampoo. The name is slipping me for some reason because I hadn't really dabbled in that brand either. But this one it doesn't leave any sort of white cast whatsoever. I do have a demo clip of me applying this today. This is third day hair right here. And I applied this this morning. So what I do, I just section out the hair in different regions. Sometimes I'll use a really small eyeshadow brush to section off little pieces or you can use a comb. You just section off the sides, shake it up really well before you use it and then just do really short spurts into the root area. I like to do the front section a little bit different. I, I kind of go vertically, you know, through the crown of my head and then for the front part I'll go horizontally and I feel like that just gives the best results for the bang area. After I've sprayed the product I'll just let it sit for just a little bit. By the time I've finished applying it throughout the roots I can go back to the first section that I sprayed it on and start rubbing it in and it seems to be dry at that point. So in my opinion, my hair looks clean. It doesn't look like third day hair and it feels clean too. I really like this product. You don't have to use a brush to brush it out. You can actually just use your fingertips. So I definitely think that is a plus. I dye my hair black. So if there's zero white residue with this product in my hair, Anybody with like a lighter brown or a red colored hair, I think you would be just fine. This one is pretty easy to wash out and I don't feel like there's a ton of like product buildup after using this one. Some dry shampoos do leave my scalp feeling a little itchy the next day. So generally speaking, I will just wash my hair the day after I use any sort of dry shampoo regardless of the brand. This is a really nice product. It does increase the volume quite a bit in the hair and if you have really fine limp hair, this is a fantastic product. Some of them don't give as much volume as others. This one gives a lot of volume. This one definitely gets a rating of nine and a half out of ten for me. The scent is awesome, the packaging's pretty, and it's available locally to me. I don't have to do like an online order for this product. I really like this. Moving on to the makeup items, I have two products here. So this first one, this is the Mally Shadow Stick Extra, and this one is in the shade Champagne. I tried to pick a shade that was a little bit more neutral, one that I could wear on an everyday basis. This is what the packaging looks like here. You have the shade down at the very bottom, along with a sticker that has the same shade that the stick is supposed to be. And this one, it's definitely reminiscent of the Laura Mercier caviar sticks, the Bobbi Brown ones. I think Kiko makes some. Essentially, everybody is making this kind of cream eyeshadow in a stick form nowadays. So that is what it looks like there. The swatches that I saw online, I thought the champagne shade would be more of like a neutral champagne, but this is definitely on the warmer side, a little bit of a light gold color. That is a swatch of it there. I did have to go over it two or three times. I feel like this one, while it is really gorgeous on the eye, I feel like when I apply it to the eye, it's definitely not as intense as it is on the back of my hand. Now, these are, I believe these are $25. If not, I'll put the correct price on the screen. You can find these at Ulta as well, or on the Mali website. But I feel like when I apply this to my lids, 
I have to put down either MAC Painterly or the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion beforehand or else I feel like this just gets to be a creasy mess. Some of the little sparkly bits will gather into the lines of my eye, the folds, the creases of my eyelid. So, eh, I don't know. I'm not wearing it currently today. My clip didn't work out with me applying this. So, anyway, you'll just have to take my word on it that this is built up. And then let me see if I can show you like a one swipe sort of deal. So that is one swipe down the hand and then this is it built up. It doesn't build up as nicely on the actual eyelid. I feel like the sparkly and shimmery bits in this product are a little bit more dispersed. So if you want just like a really intense sparkly eyelid for the day, I think you're gonna have to put a shadow over the top of this. I don't think this item on its own is gonna do the job. Now, if I put down a base underneath it, some kind of a primer underneath it, and then I put this cream shadow on, it stays all day. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel really heavy on the lids. It's not extremely sticky. It does dry down quite relatively, relatively fast. They have a wide variety of shades. They have some matte ones, some satin ones, and some that are kind of shimmery like this product here. So overall, I would say this one gets about a seven out of 10 six and a half to seven out of ten i would say this is the touche velute velute i'll put it on the screen i don't speak french and it's their highlighting concealer brush and it says it's ultra smoothing full coverage i got the shade number one in porcelain since i am really pale it does come with a brush tip applicator here as you can see now the only issue that i have with this applicator is when you get some product out like that it comes out of the tip but it comes out of just this center portion here so when you are applying it on the skin you're gonna have a streaky can you see that it's really concentrated right in the center you have like a straight line where you're applying it which you know obviously you're going to blend it out if you don't blend it out quick enough you're going to have lines in your product i did find that this applies the best on bare skin with no foundation products on it whatsoever with some of my foundations it blends in beautifully and other ones it's like a patchy it's just bad on some of them so Anyway, that was the applicator right there. It's pretty soft, I would have to say. My favorite spots to apply this product are right at the inner corner of the eye and under the brow bone. I You can apply it down the center of the face. I don't like it at the high points of the cheeks. If you have like a big blemish that's really red and really prominent sticking off your skin, it's not gonna cover very well. I feel like this is more for just smoothing things out, brightening that area. And I would say it's not like a matte highlight like they're claiming. It definitely has a slight luminosity to it. I would describe it as a satin, a satin highlight. That is it right there. I did notice though at the very end of the night after about eight hours, this product, eh, it didn't look the best, but I've had concealers look worse. So an overall rating on this product, I would have to give this... It's hard for me because I do like it for certain aspects of it. I do like it, but at the same time, I really don't feel like this is worth the money. I feel like you could find something at the drugstore that does the exact same job. I feel like the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer has close coverage to this product. This has a little bit more coverage than my YSL one that I received not too long ago. I don't know, I guess just, I would give this one a seven, seven out of 10 in my opinion, for this guy. So there was that one. And then I did receive a couple skincare products. This first one, I have been kind of checking up on this and watching some of the reviews for this product since it's been released. There's two items, and I didn't realize that there were different areas of your face that you're supposed to target between those two products. I thought they both did the same thing. But this is the Dr. Brandt Needles No More instant wrinkle smoothing cream and that is what it looks like there this is the bottle now this one is for the upper half of your face and then they have another one i think it's called the needles no more filler mask and that one comes with like a brush and you use that one on like from here down so you're not supposed to use this one on like expression lines smile lines around your face 
around your mouth. This one you can use this on the forehead if you have the 11s there. I use it, I have this horizontal line right here. It's very faint, but I do have it right here that sometimes foundation will catch in that area. Um, and then you can also use this product right if you have any fine lines that are trying to turn into those crow feet wrinkles right over here, you can actually use it right in that region. Don't get it really close to your eye, but keep it either out a little bit or keep it down away from the eye area because product underneath the eye can travel up into your eyeball. This one actually looks like just a standard lotion. It does come with a pump and I have to say, I really didn't feel like this would do much, but I do have a couple horizontal fine wrinkles on my forehead, fine lines I would say. And I did take a couple photos. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to notice the difference, but I can see a very subtle and slight difference between the two images. I'll insert them now. You can almost see an immediate difference, I would say between, I don't know, 45 to 60 seconds. I can personally see a visible difference on those lines on the forehead. I don't really notice much of a difference in this area here or on the outer portion of my eyes, but I don't have as deep of lines in those areas as I do on my forehead. When I talk a lot, I do move my eyebrows a ton and I do make a lot of expressions with my with my face and I do crinkle up my forehead a little bit while I talk. Now, I don't use this product morning and night. I only use this at nighttime when my skin is at its cleanest so it can kind of sink in and do its magic overnight. And then in the morning, I do still notice a subtle difference because I'm not really making any expressions overnight. I really feel like it can sink in. I feel like it can absorb in at its maximum and I have the optimum results personally. I guess I could try it in the morning a little bit. I just have it. I'm not 100% sure if this item would be better for somebody with fine lines that are just starting to show up and you know somebody that's in their early to mid 30s like me or if it would work better and have a more visible difference with somebody with some more developed lines on their face, some more developed wrinkles. I'm just not sure if you would see more of a difference if they're really fine and it smooths them out almost completely, or if you have more deep set wrinkles and that kind of relaxes them just a little bit more. I don't know. Overall, I think this is fantastic. I would definitely consider repurchasing this, especially if I could find some kind of 20% off sale or something. Any sort of a discount on this, I'm definitely gonna repurchase when I run out. I would definitely give this a nine out of 10. I feel like, yeah, obviously the results could be, you know, more intense and it could completely erase the lines, but I really actually feel like this does a pretty decent job at smoothing that out and it does last the entire day for me. It doesn't last for like an hour and go away. So there was that one. The final item or items that I'm gonna review are from 100% Pure and I do have the coffee bean caffeine eye cream right over here and then this other one, um, it was a little bit delayed on getting this one to me. I didn't feel like it was that delayed. It was like one or two days, but they decided to toss in an extra. This is the 100% Pure Brightening Serum. It's supposed to be a skin brightening serum. I don't know. Uh, I don't normally use a serum on my face, but as far as this coffee bean caffeine eye cream, I actually have a review video on this 100% Pure product and some of their makeup items. I did that a couple years ago. I want to say it's been about two years. Could be longer. I think it's only been two years though. And I had a little foil packet sample of this that I tried out. I think I got it from Birchbox, but this one, I wanted to retest this out because I've heard a ton of buzz about this item. It says on here it's for dark circles and puffiness. I've used this at nighttime and in the mornings, but I've got to say I used this item on this eye here today and I used my normal eye cream on this eye. Honestly, I can't see any difference. Uh, tell me if you can see a difference. Honestly, I can't. So 
as far as the puffiness, um, decreasing any puffiness, I don't see that. Um, as far as the dark circles, I have pretty intense dark circles under my eyes. Like this here, it looks like I need to add in some more concealer or a corrector. This is essentially as good as it gets for my eyes. So personally, I really don't feel like this eye cream is beating out my preferred eye cream. I use the Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate. That works wonders, but that one is an anti-aging eye cream. I would say if you just need a basic eye cream that's incredibly moisturizing, I would check this one out. It does have this really pleasant scent to it. it. Smells good. Some people say it smells like coffee. I don't feel like it smells like coffee. I would say more of like a vanilla Irish cream sort of scent to it. It's like a mixture between caramel and vanilla is what I pick up from this. Some people say it smells like coffee. I'm not picking that up. I did use this for over a week straight and I know sometimes with eye creams you have to use them for a prolonged period of time before you start seeing any results. So maybe I just need to use this for like a month or two but with the allotted time frame that I'm allowed I would consider this more of a first impression on this product and I just don't feel like I'm going to be purchasing this one over my other eye cream even though this one is a nice one. I will most definitely use this one in the daytime in the morning and use my fresh one at nighttime. So there's that if that helps you come to any conclusions about this product. The other item that they sent me is the brightening serum and honestly I really don't feel like I've found a serum that does anything for me. With it being a brightening serum I'd probably have to use this entire thing or more to come up with any results. It does sink into the skin nice. It doesn't ball up on the skin. I can put lotion, like a face lotion or my makeup on top of it after it's soaked in and it doesn't ball up at all. So anyway, this is all right. I would definitely check out the reviews on this before you purchase it. As far as reviews on these two for the coffee bean eye cream, I would give this one like a six out of 10 just because it doesn't do what my eye cream today does. It's a good eye cream on its own. It absorbs fast, but not as good as my one that I have now. And this one, I would probably get this like a five out of 10 just because I didn't see any benefits from it, but I didn't have any cons from it either. It didn't break me out. So anyway, those are my overall thoughts and opinions. If you are a YouTube creator and you wanted to See if you could qualify to get some free products sent to you in exchange for a review. I'll leave all of the details for signing up for Octoly down in the description box. I'll leave a link for you and that's everything. Let me know if you tried any of these products, if you have differing opinions on these items. I would love to hear how you use them and how it works with your skin type and your skin tone and everything. So anyway, that was it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.